Hi everyone, Kyler B here. This is my newest puzzle modification. It is the Tricky Domino. Not the Trick Domino, the Tricky Domino. I'll get into that a little bit later in the video. The puzzle was made using a 2x3x3 puzzle that was manufactured by QJ. All the stickers were cut using Oracle vinyl. All of the pieces were also capped using 1mm thickness ABS plastic sheeting. Before I show you the colors, which are the standard colors, I'll get into the explanation of this puzzle a little bit. The trick domino is a spindle domino modification that was initially made by Hitoshi. I will not try to say your last name because I don't want to butcher, but it's right here. So for some of you who have been around the puzzle community uh, for the past couple of years, you may have heard of a puzzle called the Bump Cube or the Mirror Blocks. Hitoshi is the one who invented that puzzle, and he also invented a puzzle a few years ago called the Trick Domino, which is a two oh, it's spindle domino uh, modification. So what he did, as you can see on the top, he basically made a windmill cube, but cut it down quite a bit and didn't put any extensions on it, so it looked like a 2x2 two two cube on, on the sides. What I decided to do with this puzzle is make it pretty much the same on the top. I did make it a little bit smaller I think. Actually it's probably close to the same size. On the top is like Hitoshi's trick domino but on the bottom slightly different. It's basically a truncated Fisher cube on the bottom. For people who have seen my 2x3x3 Fisher windmill cube or windmill Fisher cube whatever it may be called um, this is pretty much the same type of modification except without any extended pieces on there. So it makes it look like almost the same size as a 2x2, two two, but it gives it a little bit of uniqueness to the puzzle. The colors of the puzzle are the standard coloration, which are white, yellow, green, red, blue, and orange. Since the two layers are different, you do need to turn the puzzle slightly before you can rotate it. And here's an example of the rotation. So if you have any questions about the puzzle, please let me know, as I'm always happy to answer questions for you. And if I do take a little while to get back to you, I am sorry, but I will try my best to get back to you. And if you would like to subscribe to my channel, please do so.